Princess Kate has suffered a blow as King Charles snubbed the Princess of Wales in a new announcement it has been claimed. The King has made two major appointments ahead of Garter Day on Monday. The monarch has appointed former MI5 Director General Baroness Manningham Buller as Chancellor of the Order of the Garter. In addition, Charles has made the former insurance broker, Lord Ashton of Hyde, the Master of the Horse, a ceremonial role in charge of the Royal Muse on state occasions. Lady Manningham Buller, who will succeed the Duke of Abercorn on his retirement, will be the first female Chancellor of Britain's oldest and most senior order of chivalry since the office's inception in 1475. It comes as increasing calls have been made for the Princess of Wales, who is currently undergoing cancer treatment, to be made a member of the Order of the Garter. The Order of the Garter, Britain's oldest and most senior order of chivalry, is celebrated annually with a procession and service in the grounds of Windsor Castle. This year's service will take place on Monday, June 17th. Kate attended the Order of the Garter service last year, wearing a polka dot Alessandra Rich dress and Princess Diana's earrings. Her late mother-in-law received the Collingwood pearl earrings as a wedding present in 1981. Kate paired her black and white polka dot dress with a similarly coloured fascinator designed by Philip Tracy. The princess also opted for Alessandra Rich for her footwear, choosing her white pumps with a black toe. The office of Master of the Horse dates back centuries and was originally responsible for the sovereign's horses, carriages and travel arrangements. Now largely ceremonial, the role remains titular head of the Royal Muse. The Master of the Horse is present when the Royal Muse supports state occasions. For example, the current Master of the Horse, Lord de Morley, rode in the coronation procession. The holder of the role also rides on Trooping the Colour, which is taking place this weekend, to celebrate the King's birthday. The role of Chancellor is among the highest ranking titles in the Order, and was held by the Bishops of Salisbury and Oxford for nearly 500 years. Both appointments are in the King's gift and are effective from Tuesday, June 18th. Royal commentator Michael Cole discussed the potential for Kate's attendance at Trooping the Colour on GB News. It would be an extremely good thing if the doctors allow, if she is well enough, for her to make a reappearance on the balcony, not having to sit necessarily through the two hours of the ceremonial and the parade. But were she to do so, it would be very appropriate because she is the colonel of the Irish Guards and it's the Irish Guards 2nd Battalion that is uh, trooping their colour tomorrow. And you may remember last year, she wore a very striking emerald outfit on the balcony, uh, emerald associated with the Emerald Isle, of course. And if she were to do that, it, it would be good in several ways, because one, she wouldn't have to say anything. Uh, second, we would all be reassured about her return to the best of possible health. Uh, and thirdly, it would scotch all the stupid and vile rumours that have been ra racing around the world uh, about her present condition. I won't even repeat them. Giving them currency would only uh, legitimise them in one way or another. But let us hope she may appear. If I were giving them PR advice, and I must say they haven't asked me yet, I would say if it is possible, she should be there because everybody would like to see her. 